everyone, welcome back to Museum Diaries. This is Jax. I'm going to be only on this video today. Uh, there's something I want to talk about. And it's something that hit me really hard this last week. I found out uh, a YouTuber that I followed for quite some time now, for a few years, passed away. And she suffered from mental uh, a mental disorder, which is depression. And I suffer from that too. You've seen me post videos on here, or not on here, but my personal channel on depression, or we've even talked about it here on depression. And it's a very serious thing. Her name is Lee Macmillan. She ended up uh, creating and starting a YouTube channel with her then boyfriend, Max. They had a YouTube channel called Max and Lee. And they would travel around the world with um, in a van, they were van lifers with their dog Aki. Beautiful, beautiful dog, um, well trained. And uh, they split up about over a year ago, um, about a year and a half ago, I think. And she started her own channel called Life with Lee, and I started watching her videos there. And one time when she was with Max and Lee, I had messaged her and him on YouTube and they messaged back which is really sweet and these YouTubers get a lot of comments so you know they've grown since then but back then for them to reply to my comment on their YouTube video was just it felt really good and it was it was inspiring to to know that we could reach out through the internet from so many just ranges of miles and from distant places that we could communicate and, and, and express gratitude for their work and their content so um aside from all that she did a video talking about depression and um everything she talked about is to the t just exactly what it is like when i go through my depression there's times when I don't want to get out of bed. Uh, it gets bad. You don't want to take care of yourself. You don't brush your teeth. You don't brush your hair. You don't care about wearing makeup. You throw on what's the easiest to wear. Uh, and you just kind of function throughout your day in this numb zone. And it's, it's hard for anything to motivate me, to inspire me, to make me happy to make me smile um, always just such a serious face and in a state of ponder over life especially and the downfalls of life the the heartaches of life the birth pains of life and I've had quite a few and not knowing especially now going on 50 years old not knowing what my future consists of um, in a in a greater greater um, type of perspective and I say this because people at my age have homes they have families they have cars uh, pets um, which I do have pets and that that helps keep me grounded but um, people seem to have their lives together by the time they're even in their 30s and sometimes they're traveling and these are things that to me are just for the most part when I'm down I have no interest in none, zero to me it's all a material thing and there's more to life than all of that and you know then, of course, I start to get in touch with my spiritual side and my, my, my Christian faith, and that's what usually helps turn me around. And, of course, the meds that I'm on, but for some reason this last year, these last few months, the meds haven't been working, the antidepressants. They're serotonin reuptake inhibitors, and right now I'm prescribed 10 milligrams of Lexapro, and that's not working. So 
Um, I'm probably going to have a change in that here in the next two weeks and hopefully this, the new medication will help. Um, but going back to Lee, she was also being cyber bullied because of the split with Max. And it's nobody's business. I know that when you become a YouTuber, you put everything out there and you gain an audience and these audiences are going to have voices and opinions. But when it comes to cyberbullying, there was a guy who took down all his content recently after her passing away. Um, he goes by the handle of Dave2D and he was making some horrible videos roasting her basically and he does this to other YouTubers that have a large following. Um, somehow I don't know what he's trying to do with this 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 type of operation but it's affected Lee and we know this because she was on a podcast called Reroute with Eamon and Beck who are two YouTubers who are also they're a couple and they're van lifers who recently purchased a cabin in the mountains and I've been watching their videos for a couple years as well the same thing with Trent and Allie who are van lifers YouTubers who have a large following just like Eamon and Beck and um, recently bought some property in Utah to build a home so a lot of interesting things going on in, in the lives of these big YouTubers that are van lifers and recently van um, in the van life community I also watch van wives and, and they're a pretty solid couple they have some really good adventures with two beautiful dogs and it's manageable in a van unbelievable but yes so that's another cool channel that I watch and Mr. and Mrs. Adventure they're another van life couple that I watch um, just everyone has their own perspective no matter if they're part of the van life community they all have different stories to tell from their lens and that's the beautiful thing about watching these videos as you see these people travel throughout our world is they're giving you a lens into their environment and it's amazing amazing and inspiring at the same time so um so dave 2d had made a roasting video of lee and basically talking trash about her relationship and the way it ended and just really just being very misogynistic towards her and um, from what I've heard he's even said that the best thing she has to offer her videos is her body because she was a very beautiful young lady she passed at the age of 28 and um, tragically she she lived out in the Santa Barbara area and she ended up um, coming across the train and getting hit by the train leaving everything at home her keys her wallet her phone so and her from what I understand her family had filed a missing persons report to locate her and she was found dead on the side of the tracks in Santa Barbara um, and this was just last Friday that she committed suicide which is what it's looking like um, so she was on the podcast we were talking about the cyberbullying and she had actually reached out to Dave 2D and asked him to stop to, to stop producing that kind of content basically and then not too long after he puts out another video and then that week that he put out that video is when she passed away she got pushed to the edge I'm assuming and I've been cyber bullied before and I know what it's like it's such a disgusting thing to have to experience from cruel cruel I'm talking the darkest the cruelest of voices that are out there in the world come at you and tear you down and you can't believe these people exist it's hard to believe that these people exist but there's people out there that for one reason or another for views for um, for numbers they they put out this kind of material and it's 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 toxic very toxic and there should be more laws on this type of material and content that gets distributed out on the internet for everyone to see because it affects people and I, I tell you that from experience it affected me 
And if you're suffering from depression, it's definitely going to affect you. So, so anyhow, I just want to say basically on behalf of Museum Americana, we send our condolences to Lee McMillan's family and friends and the van life community. Um, she was, she was amazing. She will never be forgotten. All her content will be left up, I'm sure, so we can view and remember and travel those journeys with her. And um, from what I also understand, uh, Max put up a GoFundMe account for Lee to raise mental health awareness. So that's out there if you go to Max and Lee's channel or Max and Max's channel, um, you can still find him on Max and Lee. You can message him or you can probably uh, look at uh, the description of the videos or maybe his latest video for a link, okay? So that's all I want to say. Uh, I hope you think about the next time you're going to be harsh to somebody and very negative to somebody. I hope you really think about the fact that you may not know what the person you're talking to is going through, although they may look happy on the outside. You don't know what happens the minute they walk through that door to go home. You don't know. So please be careful with your words and step outside of that, that, that box that's just you, 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 and, and consider the other person's feelings, okay? Thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next Museum Diaries. Bye for now. Peace out.